In this video, we are going to look into how to split your data set into training and tests using sklearn train test split method. Usually when you have a data set like this, uh, sometimes we train the model uh, using the entire data set, but that's not a good strategy. The good strategy is to split the data set into two parts where you use part of the sample for actual training and you use re remaining samples for testing your model. And the reason is uh, you want to use those samples uh, for testing the models that model has not seen before. So for example, here, if I use the first eight samples to train the model and then use the remaining two to, to test, then I will get a good idea on the accuracy of model because the model has not seen these two uh, samples before. The data set that we are using for this exercise is the BMW uh, car uh, prices data set. Here I have uh, the mileage and the age of the car and the price that it was sold for. So these are all the sold BMW cars along with their mileage, age and sell price. And here mileage and age are independent variables and selling price is the dependent variable. In my Jupyter notebook, I have loaded uh, this CSV file into a data frame, which looks like this. And then I'm using some matplotlib visualization to figure out the relationship between my dependent and independent variable. So here I have a plot of mileage versus the sell price, and you can see a clear re linear relationship here. We can draw a line that goes through all these data points. Similarly for car age and sell price, I have plotted another scatter plot and here also you can short of apply a linear uh, relationship. So we are going to use a linear regression model based on these visualization. I have prepared my X and Y here. So X again, mileage and age and Y is the selling price. The first thing we'll do here is uh, use train test split method from sklearn.modelSelection. We are importing train test split method and then use this method, supply X and Y as an input. And also you need to supply the ratio by which you are splitting. So here I want my test data set size to be 20% and my training data set size to be 80%. So this is how you specify that. As a result, what you get is a X train data set, then X test data set, Y train and Y test. You get four parameters back, okay? And if you look at the length of whatever you got back, you will see it is 80% of your total data size. Your total data size here is 20 and based on 80% ratio, my training data set is 16 samples. Look at test and it will be four as you would expect it to be so. If you check the actual content of your X train, you will see that it chose the random samples. It's not selecting the first 80% of the samples, it's just using random samples, which is good. If you execute this method again and again, you will see that the, the, the samples will change here. Now, sometimes you want your sample to remain same. And for that, you can use this random state method. If you use random state, remember it's gonna use same samples, okay? So for random states value of 10, it will always produce the same output. You can see that my X train is not changing now, right? 20, 2500 you'll see these values are not changing when I execute this multiple times whereas if I didn't have this parameter it was changing all the time so if you do control enter you can see that right okay now let's use our linear regression model so you can guess that I'm going to import linear regression class and create my classifier which is nothing but an object of this class and then you uh, use a fit method to actually train your model okay so i need to use 
x train y train and my model is train now and now i can uh, call predict method on my actual test data set so my model is predi predicting that the values uh, predicted values for my x test are these let's look at how my y test looks so my y test looks like this so values are kind of in similar range but not exactly so let's check the accuracy of a model by calling score method so what score method will do is it will use x test and predict these values and then compare it against these y test values and tell you the accuracy so here accuracy is 0.89 percent okay that's just because of the nature of my data set but that's all i had for this tutorial uh, you learned that how train test split can be used to uh, split your actual data set so you can uh, change your uh, percentage ratio between the two data set by uh, modifying this if i do this then it will be 70 30 ratio okay so that's all i had for this tutorial i don't have any exercise uh, but i have this notebook available in the video description below so feel free to download it and play around it thank you bye